thank you Dowstrong for sponsoring this video. And this is what we call a pecker brisket. That's because it has both muscles, the point and the flat. The biggest differences between these two muscles is that the flat is very lean, but the point has plenty of fat. Now because of that, the first thing I like to do is to start trimming the point. Since it has so much intramuscular fat, I like to remove almost all of the external fat. For me, at least that gives me a nice balance when I'm eating it. And as you already know, the flat does not have a lot of fat, so I like to leave at least a quarter inch. So after trimming the whole brisket, once I was done, this is what it looks like. A nice fat cap layer on the fat but nothing on the point. Now if you think I'm going to be throwing all of these trimmings away, you are absolutely insane. These are perfect for burgers and also beef tallow, so never ever throw anything away. And the greatest thing is that if you don't want to use them right now, you can always freeze it and use it later on. Do not let anything go to waste. To season it, it's pretty straightforward and I like to do something that it's called dry brine. Every piece of meat you will ever see me cook, I always use this method. It is the best way to have the seasoning penetrate nicely and deeply into the meat. You gotta remember that this is a huge piece of meat, so make sure you add plenty of it. And obviously, do not forget the sides. One thing you gotta keep in mind before putting on your refrigerator is that you should always put it on a cooling rack. Now the only thing left to do is to let it rest on my refrigerator overnight. The very next day, this is what it looks like. As you can see, you have a much deeper red color, and at the same time, there's no salt left. That's because all of it is inside of the brisket. Whenever you make it sous vide, there's no need to dry brine it, and that I'll show you real shortly. But to cook this one the traditional way, the next thing I like to do is to add some pepper. If you are the type of person that likes to add more rubs into your brisket, go ahead, now is the time. But at least for me, I like to keep it simple with just salt and pepper and nothing else. And for that, I'll be using my Camp Chef smoker at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not really looking for an internal temperature, I'm more looking for looks. If it forms a crust that I'm happy with, then it's time to take it out. If you enjoy that dark bark color, it's time to leave it for a little longer. But for me today, this is what I'm looking for. This mahogany color you see right here is a sign that the smoke penetrated nicely and deeply into the meat. And I can guarantee you, it will have a nice smoke ring. At the same time, we must render a little bit more of this fat and cook the brisket all the way through. For that, I'm gonna use something that it's called the Texas Crunch. That is pretty straightforward, you just gotta wrap it up in aluminum foil and make sure everything is nice and tight. Once that's done, it goes back into the smoker into its probe tender. What I mean by that is when I poke it with my thermometer, it should feel like hot knife through butter. And once that has been achieved, you wanna let your brisket rest for at least two hours. Then it's time to open up the foil and take it out. And do not even think about throwing these juices away. We're gonna putting it back after slicing. Talking about that, that's the next thing to do. And as I did, wow, take a look at that. Even after resting for two hours, this thing still nice and hot and as juicy as it gets. That, my friends, is what I'm talking about. If that does not make your mouth water, I don't know what will. Man, there's nothing like good old smoked brisket. And the lean part of the brisket, it's also nice and juicy. But hey, I like my beef medium rare, and this one is far away from it. But one thing you gotta always remember is to put all your slices back into the aluminum foil with the juices. Do not let that go to waste. And this is gonna be our medium rare brisket. As you can see, it is also a pecker brisket. And as you already know, the first thing I needed to do was to remove a little bit of the external fat. I did the same exact thing as I did with the previous one. Once I was done, this is what it looks like. The next thing to do is to go ahead and season it. And for that, I started with a good amount of salt. Now, the biggest difference between this brisket and the previous one is that this one will not be dry brining. Whenever you cook it sous vide, there's no need for it. You gotta remember that this is gonna be cooking for a very long time in a vacuum sealed bag. So as it is cooking, it will also brine itself. Once I was done with the salt, I finished it off with a good amount of black pepper. As always, make sure you season all sides, including the edges. Now, even though I like medium rare brisket, I also like a smoky flavor. So I went ahead and threw it in my smoker at the lowest setting, which for this Camp Chef smoker is 150 degrees Fahrenheit. I let it smoke for a total of two hours. Once the time was up, I took it out and this is what it looks like. As you can see, that nice red mahogany color is a sign that we got a good amount of smoke. Now, to make sure I'm not gonna overcook this brisket, I'm gonna be using sous vide for it. And as you already know, the only thing left to do is to bag it up, vacuum seal it, and get it ready for the water bath. Talking about that, I'll be cooking at 131 degrees Fahrenheit for a total of 24 hours. That will hopefully make this brisket nice and tender and also keep it at medium rare. And we're about to find out how good it is real soon.
As you guys saw it there, there's nothing like a real smoked brisket. This one is gonna be very, very difficult to beat. It is tender, juicy, and as good as it gets. At the same time, I am doing an experiment that I have never done before and I have never seen it before. As you know, sous vide can get things really, really tender with a medium rare temperature. Is it gonna work? I have no idea. I just hope that it's not gonna be a disaster. We are hungry, it is ready, and it's time to take it out. Let's do it. It is always extremely surprising whenever you take it out of the bag and if it smells good, you can tell that it's gonna be something special and that is no different with this brisket. I know you guys saw the real brisket already smoked, but this one is getting me really, really excited. I'll tell you one thing. Ah, the smoke smell is really coming through at the same time. It has that jiggle, medium rare brisket. <laughs> but at the same time, we can look at this thing and we can tell that it does not have a beautiful crust. But hey, you do not worry about that because you know I got something to fix that. So now I say, I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this. Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Dowstrong. If you've been watching my channels for a while, you know I love knives, and Dowstrong has been my go-to even before I started making YouTube videos. Look, let's be honest, knives are just cool, but most importantly, they have to be useful, and I don't like to pay a fortune for them. That is why I always choose Dowstrong. They have hundreds of knives, and of course, the traditional ones, like this amazing butcher knife. Also, you want to know something cool about the Dowstrong team? They are young and extremely active with their barbecue community, and they listen to meat love like us. The designs are not only unique, but they also break rules that we are not really used to. It is also awesome to see a brand that stands behind our product and offers lifetime warranty. That speaks volume, and you know that if you get a knife like this, look at that, it will last for generations to come. Thank you, Dowstrong, for sponsoring this video. Guys, go get yourself some amazing knives. They're also giving you 10% discount. Oh, and by the way, if you like new releases or secret deals, you might wanna sign up for their newsletter. So go to the description down below, click on the link, or go to dowstrong.com slash pages slash Guga to get yours. As you know, the holiday season is just around the corner, and there is no one in the world that will not enjoy a knife as a gift. I can guarantee you it's gonna put a smile in anyone's face. But now let's get right back to the video. All right. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful brisket today, Mama. Are you ready? Double whammy brisket? Double, yes, that's right. We Double love, whammy. I mean, at least me, I really enjoy brisket. You? I love it. Brisket is amazing, it's everybody. Amazing. So here's, we got an experiment. As you can see, they look slightly different. Of course there's an experiment. Here. <laughs> no, you cannot just be here. Let's enjoy two briskets. No, 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 no. If I'm cooking two brisket, we got to figure out something, right? We right. got to find out something new, something I've never tried before. And that's what we're doing today, Mama. Are you ready? Right. Are you having bad memories for one week long cook brisket, one month cook brisket? At least it doesn't smell like that. <laughs> it definitely does not smell like that, everybody. It smells yes, really good, actually. We cooked the brisket for a month. If you have not seen that video, do not go watch it. Yes? Go watch it. No, I recommend Don't go it. do it. Don't go do it. But go watch it. <laughs> That's right. You can watch it, but be careful. You have been warned. Okay, Amazing. So we got a smoked traditional version and we got a sous vide version. So for us to compare, let's go ahead and try this one first. As you can see, it is crazy amount of juice. Yep. And we're gonna get the leanest part, which is the flat, because we know the point, which is the fattiest. There's no way to mess that up. It, it's always gonna be amazing. <laughs> oh, that's tender. It's, you know, it, it like, <laughs> you could cut it with the back of the knife. Yeah, look at that. I'm not even gonna cut it. I'm just gonna break it apart, everybody. All right, that's nice and tender. Smoked brisket. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Wow. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Are you okay, Amal? Wow. <laughs> My mouth started salivating so much. I know. I started the, choking on it. The saltiness is so wonderful. Mm. The smokiness that comes out of this thing is amazing. And of course, the tenderness, man. How do you like it, Mama? I like to know your opinion. I love it. <laughs> I love it. 
Wow. You give me this anytime. I'll be happy. I know this. It's like the what you expect from a brisket. You know what I mean? Yes. Tender, juicy, fall oh, apart man. as soon as you take a bite. <laughs> mm. And definitely soaking it up on the juices like that. You know what I mean? That, mm. it's amazing. Now, I'm excited for this one. Are you ready for this one? I'm scared of that one. I know, right? It looks red. I mean, medium rare brisket. Oh, wow. It feels so different. Grab it. It feels very, very weird. You see that? Wow. And it's tender, right? Yeah, it, no, it's tender, but <laughs> it's not like breaking apart like the other one. No, I'm curious to find out something. Hold on. Wow, it feels very tender in my hand. Let me see if it will fall apart. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> that took a little tug. Oh, it smells amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it smells incredible. Wow, it smells smoky and, and at the same time like a steak. It smells more smoky than this one. Oh yeah, I think what happened is when you put it in the bag, it concentrated that smoke. That's right, I forgot for a second that we're <laughs> yeah. this one. Yeah, medium rare brisket. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Wow, Whoa. that is very unique and different. It does not taste like a brisket at all. Mm -hmm. It tastes mm. like a steak. Wow. Very smoky. Maybe too smoky. I think I think it's too smoky. That is weird, everybody. In a very good mm. way, by the way. Not in a bad way. Don't get us wrong. I see very good way. Very nice mouthfeel. But it, it, it tugs like a steak. You know, you it's not like that one that it just breaks apart on your teeth. That yes. one you're fighting with it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think if there's one thing that I would change. I was smoking instead of doing it for two hours, maybe smoke it only for one hour. Yes. Because it is extremely smoky. Like, As you guys know, depending on what it is that you do, sous vide really concentrated that and that smokiness. Instead of being just on the ring itself, this thing is the whole thing full of smoke, everybody. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. It's almost like steak and brisket and deli meat. Yes. You know, correct. when you get like a smoked deli meat, mm -hmm. that kind of smokiness. Like a Almost pastrami like. Yes. Yes. There you go. It is incredible to me the new things you find out by doing experiments. You know what I mean? Okay. I would never be able to taste this kind of flavor if I didn't run this experiment. And I'll tell you one thing I highly recommend you cooking a brisket this way. Just don't smoke it for too long. Just one hour is plenty enough. You're going to have a wonderful texture in your mouth. It will feel like a steak. It will taste with a mix of a steak pastrami and brisket, and brisket. together. Yep. That's how we can describe it, everybody. There's no other way to describe it. I cannot even say which one I like best because I love this one. I really enjoy this one. This is the first time I'm cooking it, but it will definitely not be the last. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.